Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and I'm Vishnu Kumar and in this session uh, we are going to talk about how we can get the Omni Studio Developer Certification. I recently gave the certification and uh, obviously I cleared it in my first time and for me it was quite easy except a few of the topics uh, which I will show you like what was the exam like uh, and what was the kind of questions that we had okay and uh, one thing that i want to mention here that uh, please don't message me for any kind of dumps uh, whatever i have learned or i have used uh, i will put everything in uh, in the description of the video please go through that uh, majorly i did use the uh, trailhead and uh, please do also uh, follow this channel and go through the playlist that i have created uh, the links link is also available in the description of the video and please go through this because i have covered up every details uh, in like very uh, uh, i would say very in deep uh, way right so you will have the idea like how things works right uh, majorly on the data raptors okay so let's get started uh, how, what is the format of exam type uh, and uh, and and which area you need to focus more to get this exam done okay so let's get started now so this is from the trailhead and uh, you can see this content from the trailhead it says that uh, the passing score is 67 uh, right and you will get 60 uh, minutes uh, sorry six you will get 60 multiple choice questions there and uh, definitely these questions will be easy and i'm pretty much sure that you will be able to complete this exam uh, before the uh, like uh, before the given time right so let's see uh, what we have as an exam outline so flex card uh, 15 percent then 20 omni uh, script uh, 17 20 and 8 and 20 right so uh, i would say uh, focus more on data raptors uh, because this is something that you have been doing in sql and then you can focus on the uh, ips which you have been doing in the uh, apex right omni script and flex card can be new for you and uh, Calculation processor and metrics uh, have well, have the like uh, least weightage here, right? So this is eight percent. So I don't think so. You need to focus much here. Uh, uh, if you haven't practiced it, uh, I think if you go through the trailhead, it should be enough. And go through the uh, go through the exercise once through the whatever developer org that you have. Okay. So let's uh, let's go through uh, one one of uh, uh, each one of the uh, topic here uh, in the my demo org. the first one uh, that you're seeing is a flex card here uh, i would suggest that you should go through how this setup works right and how you can pass the parameter ids right and why you're not comp why your component is not working right so it can be multiple reasons like uh, because you haven't passed the correct parameter or something like this it should be very straightforward right so please do look through this uh, setup it, this is uh, this is going to be very important in the exam and also go through the states right uh, this is again a very important uh, topic uh, which you should understand very deeply uh, how it works and when we should use it and uh, and what what happens if there are multiple states something like this right so please go through this uh, this will help you uh, a lot i didn't saw much things coming from the other uh, part but yes uh, majorly uh, it was like how things work and uh, what things you need to focus on the flex card while you are creating like uh, the data and how you can have the parameter pass right something like this right so go through this uh, go through these and what you can do uh, or what you can achieve through the style of the flex card right what, what are the things that you uh, Salesforce provides out of box and uh, what kind of CSS that you can apply, right? Uh, uh, will it be only Salesforce or you can have your custom or not, right? So please go through this as well. The next topic is uh, OmniScript. Uh, uh, quite important because if you see uh, the weightage here, OmniScript also have the 20%, which is very high, right? And uh, go through the uh, actions uh, what actions we have here uh, and uh, also do understand how omni scripts components are uh, designed or 
put together when it comes to the JSON node, right? So once you do the preview, right? If you see the data JSON, right? You will have the understanding how it is, right? And in in what manner you will be getting out the data, right? So for example, you see this, right? Uh, you have this node. So this is on the very top node, but you have multiple nested components, right? One block inside block, right? So something like this, uh, if you have, right? What uh, what kind of JSON you will be having? So again, uh, go through this anti, um, action debugger, how it works and uh, how you can debug because if you see uh, a troubleshooting which is 20 percent so you will get a good amount of questions from here as well and you will able to give uh, the answers if you know where to look and what to look right so this is a uh, pretty much important uh, there wasn't much question asked on the each components if i say here right and in very deep detail but yeah there was a question asked uh, on the text components what you can do in the text components right uh, how you can merge it right you should have a uh, very deep understanding that uh, how variables get merged right the same goes for the flex card as well and uh, the omniscript omniscript as well right what is the syntax to utilize a variable right uh, and if there is a multiple nodes how you can traverse through the uh, variables right in in uh, uh, omni studio most of the uh, traveling uh, into the node happens through the uh, columns right so it is same in the omniscript and it is same in the flex card as well okay it will be same in the ip as well right so you should have an understanding there will you you will see a lot of questions uh, coming from there right and uh, where you will see a minor differences between the syntaxes and you need to ident identify which one is the correct one okay uh, moving to the uh, third one which is our IP and uh, if I go back and see IP also cover a good amount of it is here like which is 17% right and I would suggest uh, you to go through the uh, HTTP action and go through the uh, all of the actions once right what you can achieve through the uh, IP right? it doesn't mean that you have to uh, go in every components in like in very like uh, low level of detail right you should have the understanding what kind of actions are there like uh, something like docusign envelope action and then you have something like remote actions right http action set values action so you should have understanding when to use what right and uh, and then uh, if i come to the preview right uh, and then click on the execute you should understand right like what is the meaning of for debug response full what we have in the debug log what is what we have in the full data json response right and uh, if i add any uh, for example if i add any component here right and if i click execute so you will see two step for each component right then uh, what information we have in this and what information we have in this right so you might see a uh, uh, good uh, good questions from here as well right and how to debug right because as i said right 20 percent is covered in troubleshooting right and debug uh, is very important in every uh, tool set that have it can be flex card omniscript ip data raptor debug is very pretty much important right and uh, most of the uh, as I, uh, I said earlier right most of the questions that you will see it's a syntax error or something like this right so you will be able to identify if you know how to troubleshoot the uh, any of the tools set. okay then very low weightage but uh, important right uh, uh, calculation processor matrix right uh, on high level if i say you you need to understand what you can achieve through the calculation procedure and what you can achieve through the calculation matrices right and uh, when you are calling the calculation matrices right how data get passed right how you can aggregate any data right and what is the concept of pre-processor uh, pre-processor and post-processor classes right you should go through these detail uh, there will be questions in from these and uh, believe me it will be simple if you have gone through the understanding of like uh, when to use what right um, when to use aggregation step right and there might be occasions regarding how you can utilize the 
the calculation matrix like what do you need to do to utilize a calculation matrix uh, straightforward again very low average here right eight uh, percent if you, and if you are not feeling comfortable on calculation procedure matrices i would really suggest that you should focus more and more on the data raptor because a uh, data raptor is something which you have been doing uh, in salesforce like it can be sql right so you have been doing this right so you you you, ha you will have the understanding what, what is the question about okay and then uh, when it comes to here right uh, so go through these steps objects formulas fields option and preview right you might see some answers uh, and you have the answer but you don't know what tab it is in right so there might be a confusion for you so i would suggest like understand what object tab have what formula tabs have what fields have what options have and what is what things we have in the preview right preview uh, objects i think should be straightforward but you should understand what options we have here right and uh, when it comes to here uh, like input json path uh, what is the use of output data type right and default value and how you can utilize the is lookup right um, so if you do this right what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this right you should have the clear understanding how things work right how update insert work right how absurd works right what happens if you check this checkbox right so you will get a lot of questions and uh, believe me uh, uh, I have covered every detail on the data raptor in the series that I have uh, added into the uh, description. Like, please go through this. Uh, if you if you went through that uh, video, I'm pretty much sure that uh, you will able to get hundred percent in your uh, data raptor for sure. Right, and uh, also there will be questions on the transformation. Right, so uh, if you are new, right, so transformation comes. Uh, send and response right up uh, so you will understand like a uh, if you have a lot of nodes and you want to send some specific node data right so you don't need to send the entire this and you can just send particular node using the send uh, and same thing happens for the response as well right so i would suggest uh, go through this uh, there is a video called send and response transformation which will be very important for you if you talk about like how much time do you need for preparation right i would suggest uh, one week or two week would be enough uh, but again uh, please do read through the documents and please please do all of these exercises once at least so you do understand why you are building this right what is the use of this right and uh, like uh, when it comes to the uh, best practices it will be there right so i covered something in uh, send and send and response transformation right you might see uh, three or four questions uh, coming from that video only right so uh, i think one week should be uh, more than enough for you uh, if you are spending three or four hours on daily basis but if you are, if you are spending one or two then i think go for two week uh, preparation go through the videos that i have created go through the trailer that uh, 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 that is there by the salesforce itself and obviously create your demo org and uh, then go through uh, each and every components okay and majorly focus on uh, omniscript flex card uh, data raptor and ip if you cover these four very well believe me you don't need to cover se this separately right because uh, all of the questions in this section will be coming from here only right it will be more over about the best practices right and what can cause the system right uh, what can cause the error right so something like this okay cool uh, best of luck if you are applying for the omni studio developer certification thanks for watching uh, see you in next video please do subscribe the channel if you haven't bye bye